y'all okay so yes i'm laying down on my couch and i'm so sorry my video cut off and y'all weren't kidding it really cut off like right when i was in the middle of a sentence so um yeah let me just tell y'all what the rest of the story was okay so at the end of that video i'll just call it part one um i was saying how my doctor said no i'm not frustrated at you yeah, it's not your fault at all. I'm very frustrated with so-and-so, her nurse practitioner. And she was like, because I wanted you to go through the fertility department so they could monitor um, your, you know, your, I guess, how many follicles you're producing, like, um, you know, how many eggs. I, you know, I don't really know all that stuff, but I do know that it was supposed to be monitored. And if it was then they could have that could have prevented me from getting so sick um so you know it is what it is but i really didn't like the fact that the nurse practitioner made it sound like that i had said something like i don't want to go through infertility uh some like you know can i just have the prescription <laughs> which is like if y'all know me, uh, that is so not like something I would even say. Like, I wouldn't even say that. I would never do something that was, you know, try to get something like <laughs> like a fertility drug or nothing like that. I mean, if, you know, do it a way that it wasn't supposed to be done. And I think the reason that the nurse practitioner told her that is because my doctor was really upset with her because she gave me the prescription. Um... And so I think the nurse practitioner was trying to cover her own butt. That's what I think. Um, so I actually got really upset and I called the doctor back because I felt like she was telling me that I was like trying to like, you know, I don't know, like get fertility drugs like behind. I don't know. I don't know. I just, it made me upset because I'm already super emotional. And so um, my doctor called me back and she was like, no, no, no. I'm so sorry, you know, I didn't want, you know, I don't want you to feel like it's your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. She's like, I'm angry with her, blah, blah. I was like, okay, you know, okay, good. Because <laughs> I, I would never do anything like that. So, um, that's that. Um, she did say that, and I did do a blood, a HCG test and a um, progesterone test. Um, so, I will know tomorrow. So, I... I feel pretty sure that the results, whether negative or positive, that's going to be the results. Because, I mean, with a blood, y'all tell me what you think, but I feel like with a blood pregnancy test, even though I'm still six days before I miss period, I mean, I, I would definitely think at four weeks it would show up in the blood for sure. So, I actually just took a pregnancy test and it said negative. Um, this is like the cheapest pregnancy test I've ever like found it was um at the piggly wiggly yes i'm southerner in alabama i don't even know who it's made by it just said one step pregnancy test four dollars <laughs> why not <laughs> so yeah i'm just i'm, I'm telling y'all i'm so over this like i'm not even kidding you i don't even want to try again for like a couple months i say that but i'm really not sure but it's just been so crazy like with the you know first the doctor's all like oh you're totally pregnant you know and then you know then i get this syndrome and you have to go to the hospital overnight and now you know i've been in pain for two weeks and i still got another week because she said it won't it will start easing up once i start my period if i get my period which i feel pretty sure i will so i'm just ready to just be done with this cycle i am this has just been awful and a nightmare um so yeah i will give y'all an update tomorrow and tell y'all what the doctor says i will try and record my response um <laughs> even if it's sad i don't care i just like to document but um yeah so that's what's going on with me i'm about to watch juan pablo on the bachelor and watch their fantasy sweet dates and um I think I told y'all this, but I don't remember because the last video was like way long ago. But um, I'm still hurting, um, mostly my lower back, um, my ovaries, 
my stomach, headache, nausea, um, unusually hungry, uh, food aversions. Like, y'all know how I love cupcakes and donuts? Well, ugh, I don't want to touch a donut or a cupcake. However, I think that subconsciously that could also be just, like, in my head because, you know, I can my brain's convinced myself that I'm pregnant. So, you know, I don't think necessarily that I'm having, like, pregnancy symptoms. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go with a negative on this one because I just feel like I've gotten my hopes up so much, you know, um, for no reason. But, you know, we'll see tomorrow. But me and my mom are actually taking a cake class. We're so excited. A cake decorating class starting in April. And, um, yay! We're actually going to, it's like four weeks long. But it's only one class per week. It's two-hour class. And it's only $25. And so, yeah, we're going to take a cake decorating class together. And so, yeah, all right. I'm going to hang out on the couch because I'm on, quote, pelvic rest. <laughs> Which I didn't even know what that means. But, yeah, basically, I just sit here. I just lay here and take my medicine and just deal with my pain. But... But anyways, I hope y'all have a great night, and I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all soon. Toodles!